Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss with you chapter 3 stat important questions. Don't skip the video. I am going to discuss with you the important keyword and mark allocation everything. And uh, in fixed to post week conversion, again I am going to explain this video. And also the evaluation of post week also I will be explaining. Okay, and I just want to tell you August month we are having the first you know, PU board exam. So if you learn chapter 3, chapter 4 and first chapter definitely you will get more than passing mark. So this uh, video definitely it will be helpful for you. So we are having the 1 marker, 2 marker, 3 markers and 5 markers you can expect from this chapter for this exam. And this is the important question. Uh, what is a stack? Write the application of stack in real life example. So they may combine sometimes with two questions. Okay. Uh, what is a stack? It will come as a one two marker also. Sometimes what is a stack? Write the application of stack in real life or programming example. They will ask for the three marker. Now let's see if they are asking the stack. The important keyword here is you have to mention it is a linear and ordered data structure. Okay, and elements are added and removed from one name which is called a top. This point definitely you have to mention. And it works with what principle? Last in, first out. Before principle, the stack will be working. So these are the important points you have to mention when you are explaining the stack. And what are the applications? The pro real life ex example, you can mention pile of clothes, stack of chairs, bangle on rest and pile of plates. The fifth point you can mention as a CD holder also you can mention it, okay. And for programming, reverse a string, undo, redo in editors, web browsing history, expression evaluation, function call in recursion. So just mention that you will get a mark, either 3 mark or uh, no 2 mark. Next question is what are the operations? So what are the operations we are having? Push, you have to just mention what are the operations and at least one line of sentence better you can give it so that you will not lose any mark. So push means what? Add an element at the top of the stack. Where are we awarding? That you have to mention that. And pop means remove the topmost element from the stack. Okay. And peak or top means retrieve the topmost element without removing it. And size means what? Return the number of elements in the stack. Display means it prints the stack elements from top to bottom. So just mention all this point and one one line with the keyword you can mention it and here this is a uh, very very important question we may expect in pi marker also mainly what is the meaning of push and pop operations or function with implementation they will ask so easily you can you know write it here push means what you have to mention what is the meaning of push push adds an element at the top of the stack and if the stack is full it causes overflow this two point you can mention after that, you can directly you can start with the implementation. So implementation means, see if this is a stack and the same stack you are going to consider in the programming, Python program as a list. Okay. And whatever you are adding it, right, it will be storing this way. So the last element will be the last element here. Okay. So if I'm, uh, for example, 5 I am adding means 5 will be here, then 4 and 3 like that you will be adding in the stack. But the same thing if you are storing in the list, what it will be 5, then no 4 and 3. So this will be the topmost element. Okay. Now where if you want to add anything, what you will be adding? You will be using the append function. So the first one push means append function is used to add element at the end of the list, which means the top of the stack. Okay. And how can you use the function? So whenever you are creating the user defined function, DEF you have to mention as a keyword and push is my function name and I am passing two arguments here. One is called stack, another one is the element. Okay, then stack dot, the stack dot append of element. Only you can mention this. So this is what you are writing the function for the push. Okay, and next one is pop. What is the meaning of pop? Removes an element from the top of the stack. Pop just remember if you are having the popcorn, no, you are taking it, right? Removing it from the uh, package. So the same way the pop you have to remember removes the element from the top of the stack. If the stack is empty what it will cause the underflow. Okay. And what is the implementation? So pop function only we will be asking. So 
So in built-in function of Python, we will be having the pop function. It is used to delete the element at the top of the list and also it returns the value, which means what? Which element you are uh, deleting, that element value it will return it. Okay. So how do we create it? Again, user defined function def. Here I am giving user defined name as pop. And here stack only one argument only. Push means two argument. Pop means one argument. And you are going to check if it is if if empty of stack means print what under flow else return stack dot pop. So this stack dot pop function will take it out the branch element from the stack. Okay. And next question is explain size, SNG, peak, and display operation. Whatever the operation we are we have you know mentioned, the same operation you are going to write the function here. Size means how can you identify the size by using the len function? You will be identifying the size. Okay. So again, the size of stack. See, remember, except push, all other operation we are going to pass only the one argument that is nothing but stack. You can remember the pattern. Then what return len of stack. Okay. And next one is empty. Is empty means what? To check whether the stack is empty or not. Here also you will be mentioning DES is empty of stack. If len of stack is empty, how can you find out if the stack is empty? Which means if len of stack equal to equal to zero, you have to mention what return true. Else return false. Next one, peak or top. Peak or top means what? See, for example, this is a list. So I as I mentioned five. 4 and 3. So, this is the topmost tab, right? So, what is that element you are want to mention is minus 1 you will be mentioning. Remember, so if you are mentioning stack of minus 1 means the topmost element it will write. So, first of all that you have to check whether the stack is empty. Yes, return stack of minus 1. Next one, display means to display all the elements in the stack. So, do you remember last year we have learned the slicing concept how it will work? The same, the reverse slicing, it will return the value from the top to you no know, top to down. Okay, so the, the definition display of stack returns stack of colon colon minus one. So it will write this you know, from the list. For example, here, so again five, four, and three. So if you are mentioning stack of uh, colon colon minus one, you will get three, four, and five. So which means top to down, you are writing it. So, so this type of question it you it definitely it will come. It is an infix to post with conversion. So first you have to prepare a table and there are three columns are here. Scan, stack and post ESP. What is the meaning of scan is? You are going to scan each uh, no operator or operand from the expression. And based on the operand, if it operand comes, then you have to post it to, sorry, push it to post ESP. Operand means all the A, B, C, D and all. But when you are uh, taking the uh, operator, it will be minus into slash all this. We can call it as a operator. Now, what is the first one? It is A. So, I am scanning it. If it is an operand, where you have to put? You have to push it to post ESP. Next, minus. So, minus is what? Operator. Operator means it will come to stack. Then here also it is continuing A. Next one is what? B. So, B, you are scanning it here. And B means minus it is continuing here. And here you will have to mention A, B. Next one is my into. So into again. So whenever the operator comes, you have to check what is there in the stack. Okay, the rules. I have mentioned clearly the rules in my stack video. Just go through that. Then it will be easy for you. So minus. So here into is coming. So you have to compare it. Which one is having the higher priority? Obviously, into is having higher priority. So, you can insert into the stack. So, minus and into. Then here, what it will be? A, B, it is continuing. Next, what is that? Bracket. So, bracket comes. Obviously, it will go to where? In this stack only, it will go. Next, here, A, B is continuing. Next, what is that next one is? C. So, C. So, C means the S will come. C will be here. A, B, C. Next one is minus. So, again, operator comes. So, you have to look into the stack. Bracket only is there. So, no problem. You can just put it here. So, I am just drawing the star. So, you have to draw properly. A, B and C. Next one is what? D. So, D means where it has to go. It has to go here as bracket minus. Then A, B, C, D. 
next is what bracket close again bracket close has come so closing bracket also very important because there is a rule here so opening bracket is here minus is here closing bracket whenever the closing bracket comes what you have to do you have to pop pop what minus so pop minus and you have to discard this two bracket so the complete it will go now here where what it will come a b c d you are popping out no then you are pushing it to post txt okay now next is what slash again the slash is coming so when you popping out this one here what it is there minus and asterisk is there now you are trying to put what slash here so slash you are comparing it right asterisk and slash which is having higher priority but both are having equal priority equal priority also what you have to do you have to pop so slash if it comes you have to what pop pop star star because star only is coming no from the beginning you have to pop star next to what a b c d minus and star after that you can see minus and slash this is fine because slash is only having the higher priority so let it continue next one is what after slash yes is coming so this will continue as it is so minus and star sorry minus and slash there is no star here so minus and minus and slash then again here what a b c d minus star then yes okay and next one is minus is coming now you can see here minus is coming here you there already slash is here minus is here so slash is on the top now so minus when you are going and inserting it will not accept why because minus is having less priority than slash so you can't insert it so minus slash minus means you have to pop what you are popping you are popping slash because slash is there from the beginning so pop you are doing slash so now what is the answer a b c d minus star f then slash after that you can see here minus and minus together it is there again it is coming what equal priority so equal priority also should not be there clear so again you have to pop what again you have to pop minus pop minus so what it will be there a b c d then minus multiplication f then slash then minus after that what is the next one d it is coming so d means directly it will go here so only minus will be here so d it will go here so a then b then c then d minus slash oh, sorry asterisk yes slash hyphen and d okay next what is the next one is slash again so slash means no problem it will go here after that it is continuing the same thing i'm not writing again continuing the same thing next is what e is coming now if e is coming directly where it will go it will go here right it will go here then your answer will be what a b c d minus star f slash minus d and e then after that is there anything to scan nothing is there so you have to make sure that after this then you have to make sure that you have to pop first this slash after that you have to pop minus to make the stack empty so the final answer will be d e slash minus clear now question evaluate 6 then 2 by 3 into they are asking so how to do it again you have to prepare uh, know the three column one is nothing but can and another one is nothing but action and third one is nothing but stack okay so this type of question this is a four to six evaluation how to do i will tell you now what is that the six is there right six you have going to six six means you have to push it to stack so push and to stack 
since you are pushing it. Next you got 2. So 2 also you have to push it to stack. Whenever the operator comes only, I will tell you what you have to do. So 6 and 2 are there in the stack now. Then now operator has come slash. Now if the slash is come, you are going to take this 2 element from the stack. So it will be what? 6 slash 2. What is 6 slash 2? You are going to find out. 6 slash 2 is what? 3, right? So 3 you are going to push it here. The answer you are going to push it to the stack. Whenever the operator comes, you are going to take out the 2 from the, the last 2 from the stack and you are going to perform this operation. Okay. After that, what is that 3? So 3 means what? You are going to what? Push it. So push it to what? Stack. So the 3 will be here again. So already 3 is here. Again, one more 3 will be here. Next is what? Multiplication. So multiplication comes. Then what you have to do? You have to take out 3. So 3 into 3. What is the answer? 3 into 3 is 9. That you have to push it to stack now. So you got the answer as 9. I hope everybody is clear now. Uh, so this questions we have done. There are another question is there. What is the three type of arithmetic notation? One is the infix, postfix and prefix. So infix means what? A plus B you have to write it. So operator will come in between the operand. What is the next one is a prefix? Prefix means what? The operator will come before the operand. So A, B, then this is the operand, right? Before that, the operator will come. And next one is what? Postfix. Postfix will, operator will come after the operand. Okay? So, these are the important questions. You have to go through that. If you have any question, post your question in the comment section. So, prepare properly because as I told you in August month exam, if you learn stack chapter, Q chapter and first chapter, definitely you will get more than passing mark. Okay. So, thank you so much and next class I am going to tell you what are the important questions for Q. And those who didn't subscribe my channel, please do the subscription. If this video is useful, please share it with your friends. It will